I don't. We don't want to open the doors, do we? Oh! What the fuck? Where did he come from? Hey everyone, my name is Mike, and welcome back to Alien Isolation. The aliens nearby. I can hear him, and we're heading towards um, these KG three four eight. I think it's called research labs. So, where are we heading actually? So the aliens right above us in terms of like the vents. So we're gonna just gonna move on quickly. Can't hang around too long. And if this door would open sometime soon, it'd be very nice. Here we go. Okay. So we're looking for the alarm system to um, I think switch on or shut down maybe. Because we're trying to trap the alien some way. I'm not sure if we've been here before or if it's just very familiar. I mean, very similar layout to previous sections of the the place. Look at that little blue guy. <laughs> Uh, we can. Is the alien behind us? It's definitely behind us, but whether he's physically behind us or in the uh, in the vents, it's two different things. Okay, let's cut the assist just quickly. All right. Now let's use the lever. They've changed the way you use this. It used to be spam X. Now it's just hold L2 and pull down. Wait, I mean. Strange. The lab can be separated from the main station. Bring it back online, and systems can reconnect. Restore power to the lab. Right, are we going down the ladder? Yes, we are. Let's make our way down. Okay. So... This is like, this is near the exit, or like an exit of the um, place. Alien's suit a bit quiet at the moment. He's not really jumping. Oh my god, is that what they look like inside? Ugh. He's got a white snot come out of his face. <laughs> Alright, so the alien's still around. He's lurking about in the vents above us. So the objective right here, we still power to the lab. So we've got to figure that out for ourselves. It's going to be in the central bit, of course. Where else was it going to be? There's some holes in the ground there we can jump into. That may take us to where we need to be, or it might just be an escape route. We're going to continue to walk around the outside and see if we can get inside through a door. See, that's locked. We store power. Yeah, they're all locked. So we can have a restore the power. Or maybe get... Let's see if there's any f holes in the floor. No, it doesn't look like there is any in there. So, actually, there's one there. But it's not green. I wonder if we can... Here we go. Emergency evac override. I don't. We don't want to... Open the doors, do we? Oh! The fuck? Where did he come from? I don't even see him on the ground. You dick. Now I need to heal myself. Let's do this. Select that. <laughs> okay. Uh, like a possible, it looks like there's a possible entrance into it on this side. There's a save point, we're going to use that. Alright, emergency power reset, that's what we need. And it's flashing all green, just to update the map as well there, I guess. Can we use this? I guess not. Wow, it's caused a lot of attention. Right, the central lab. It's behind us, so those doors should be open now. So I don't think we're heading beyond where we come from, so we gotta go back, I think, and those doors should now be open. Like this one. Yes! Just gotta check, there's no cameras in here setting any alarms off. This is flashing all green, so I'm gonna click on this. Alright, this is a long puzzle. Um, that one. These used to be only three squares, and now it's four. Still pretty simple. The aliens are bubbles. 
There he is. He jumped up again. Let's move on quickly while he's in the vents, occupied. Okay. And he's back down again. We may go in there. Actually, can we, if we go in there, can we just go across, like, make it safe for us? Oh, look, there's not even much distance in it. If we go push a bit further into it. Right. Yeah, look at that. It's all connected all the way. You can see the grid. So let's push forward on this. Hopefully there's an exit at the end so we can just pop up. There's the alien. Hello. The lighting in this game is what makes it so intense, I think. It's like, obviously the alien makes it intense as well, but the lighting effects are so cool. When it's in the dark, it's pitch black. Alright, so he's, he's he's up there. He's quite far away. No, he's not. He's getting close now. He's right above us. Oh, hello. <laughs> Yeah, so I think he's right there, like, if if we were to look up now. He is kind of roaming around. Let's climb out. Actually, right there. It's getting louder and louder. Right, he looks like he's separated a bit. So let's climb out. I think we're going through that door right there. No! No! Oh, what? Don't fucking do this to me! What? Oh god. Is the alien floating around as well? <laughs> this pit this thing's separated then, isn't it? There's no oxygen. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. And the aliens behind us. Can we get inside these holes again? I just feel like that's the best way to travel in this section. Alright, so we're heading all the way through there. It looks like we can actually lead that. Take that all the way. Let's try that. So we go left here. And take the next left. And it's just straight all the way down to the objective. That makes it really easy. So there are alternate ways to do things in this game. And this is the easy, easy peasy way. To get to the objective at least. Hopefully we can jump out here. Oh no, it looks like it doesn't connect. Ah, oh, shit. I take all that back. It's not easy peasy way. Shit. <laughs> Alright, so we need to get out to the nearest one. I think it's back this one. Right, there's a ho oh, it's, it's locked now. So it looks like the internal bit is locked. And we need to go around the outside again. Maybe there's an exit here. We can in, jump out and then... It's, it's only a short walk up off the ground. Open vent. Yep. Let's climb out. Hopefully the alien's not right next to us. He is kind of somewhere though. He's right there somewhere. It's very disorientating because it's it's like wonky. Let's move forward quickly. I'm not going to sprint because that makes it a lot of noise. We just got to walk fast. Fuck. Pressurize the airlock. This guy's not going to grab us now because we smashed his fucking head in. <laughs> wait for the airlock to pressurize, so we gotta wait for that. So let's get in the hole. The alien's right there where we just were. Hopefully, the game will tell us when the objective is updated and the airlock has been pressurized. Because right now, I don't really know if it is or isn't. We're not jumping up here anyway because the alien is just sitting off there. There we go, that sounds like it's the thing. Get to the airlock. The aliens are right above us though. The dot is literally touching us like... There we go, he's moving off. So he still is quite close. He's gonna turn around. Right, he's walking away, he's walking away, he's walking away. Let's climb out quickly. Let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. Get up, go, move, 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 move. Nice. Wait. Shit. Ah. Can't get much closer than that. Get a suit.
How quickly can you get dressed? These towers, like they're not connected, are they? So does that, I guess the alien can jump across as well. He probably can breathe any atmosphere. <laughs> Exhausting. Right, so we've separated ourselves quite a bit there from the alien. Hopefully he's not wanting us that bad, so he's just going to jump across. Hopefully we left him behind for a little bit of time. So we're going to take our suit off, we don't need it anymore. Alright, so we're going to go for the doors. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Ripley, is that you? Yes, wait! Me, you son of a bitch! You locked me in! You blew the lab into space! I had no choice. No choice at all. You saw that thing. You saw what it could do. I had to get it off the station. By any means necessary. Yeah. Use me as bait. <laughs> I mean to die. And it goddamn worked, Ripley. It goddamn worked. I got that thing. Jettisoned it into the gas giant. The station's safe. There's that. And there's the fact that you're a heartless bastard. I'm heading back to the Bureau. We can discuss your methods there. Ripley out. Alright, so I didn't really understand the other, but obviously now I don't know. Um, what he did there was he separated the platform that we were on from this one. And just left us to die with the alien, but we managed to escape. And he's fucking saying like, it worked, didn't it? It's like, yeah, but not help, no help to you. To my life, you know? Just fucked us over completely. So the alien is now separated from this tower. So maybe, I mean, obviously it's going to jump across at some point. <laughs> it's not going to be the end of the alien now. I mean, it, didn't, it wasn't born on this tower, was it? So it obviously got here anyway, so it can get anywhere really if it wants to. Once it escapes that... Um, those locked off doors. So, shotgun! Alright, so that's probably going to be quite good to use against synthetics. Like, we've always good for humans, shotgun's probably going to be good for synthetics because it's a massive blast. And the flamethrower is really good for aliens and humans as well, actually. So, that's. We've been here before, I feel. I, I would definitely. This, like, room looks very familiar. I'm not sure if it's the same place or just the same layout in a different place. So we just picked the key card as well off of that guy with the shotgun. So we can open this door. There's a the shotgun right there. I'm gonna keep... What should we use? We don't need to use the flamethrower right now because unless there's humans. Yeah, this is where we first met Axel. Remember Axel? The guy like in the second video I think it was? Like by that door? That's crazy. That was so long ago. And the first jump scare with the light fell down. <laughs> oh dear. So these guys are coming for us. Um, switch to the shotgun. Where's the shotgun? This is obviously because they walk. We can kind of just kite them around a little bit. Shotgun, shotgun, shotgun. I'm not seeing it. There is. So I'm not going to try and kill these straight away. See if we can possibly kite them away and then go through the door. They tell you to don't run, obviously, because they can't run. Probably if they tried to run, they just fall over. They're not programmed to run, are they? I'm just going to try and outrun these guys, maybe even hide once we get out of sight. There's a save point there. We really do need to lose sight of these guys, though, first. Actually, save game, it doesn't tell us there's any hostiles nearby. So we saved it. And those guys don't seem to be following us anymore. And I don't think this is actually the way to go. 
That was just a, way, a route to take to get to the save point. So I said, it's an elevator around the corner we need to use. So those guys seem to be... There's one there. Let's just jump in the lift. Right there, doing their own thing. No thanks to Waits. <sighs> He's a ruthless son of a bitch, always has been. Stubborn too. If he'd ever listened to me, things would never have gone this far. It's done now. I'm sorry for fucking up with the lockdown earlier. Forget it. You got me out in the end. I'll see you back at the Bureau. So everyone's feeling like super safe right now. The aliens separated from the rest of us. And uh, happy days. But there's also... That's not the end of the story, that was it. Um, I'm hearing noises. See, I am actually feeling myself pretty calm right now. I'm not worrying, constantly checking the, um, the motion detector looking for the alien. I mean, if I bump into a synthetic, they're not really much of a... Oh. So, we still power to the Galleria secure. Oh, shit! You serious? Come on, mate. Alright, let's run away. <laughs> Why do people have to shoot people? Stupid. It's really stupid. Alright, it's telling me to go somewhere. I think we're going in this hole here. Door locked. Okay, so I need to restore power. And that's going to be somewhere else. Alright, so we, um, we can't get into those vents in the walls. But we can activate this somehow. There's a sweet spot where you can click on it. I can't freaking find it. I think you pressed the red button there, but... There we go. Activate. So I don't really know what the hell that's going to do, actually. Let's see if it's going to... It might smash through there. Ah, you know what? I think that... That hole in the wall is made for this to go into. Stop shooting me, you prick. So we're going to follow this in be behind. Into this little um, hole. And it's going to turn around here. Yeah, boy! I'm going to stick close to it. Before it closes. Um, should we just change this quickly? Right, this, this stayed on. Okay. We can't go on that one. Or that one. Where can we go? There's a vent there. I think we've got to go in there. It's the only option. So, where are we coming out? EMP upgrades. I don't really know what the upgrades do. Maybe they make them... Well, they obviously make them more effective, but I don't know how. Alright, so we can go forward this way. What's behind this door? Plant room. I think there's a room between that room, though, and this one. Let's see what we've got. Let's get the... Uh, let's get the flamethrower out, because it's good against humans. In case they do want to have a little fight. I'm about to rain on the parade. Something's up with the androids. Something's been up with the damn androids since I got here. No, this is new. They've left their posts. I just saw some of them in a public area. That's not normal. Great. Watch your back. So the androids are going to come in and try and um, maybe kill these people. So that could, have, it could be quite useful against them for us. What's in there? It's like a little lounge in here. It's nice. There's a save point here. I think, guys, we're going to save it here and um, end it. Just because we've got, we're making pro progress here. We've got a little save point so we can start the next video off in a safe point. So thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time. Bye.